Hello, Mr. Jesse here with another tutorial by Aspire Art Studios. Today we're going to be drawing this beautiful seascape over here, this lighthouse with some houses over here and these rocks. And uh, we're going to be using a couple of tools that I've listed out over here. Now, this project is going to be for kids ages, I would say, uh, seven to nine. Um, so be prepared. Um, you, we need, you, you do want a pretty good understanding of how to draw basic shapes to construct. Um, you do want some pretty a pretty good idea of like what a horizon line is, uh, the sky, the ground, uh, things like that. And uh, we will do maybe some we will do some shadows in here. So the students do have to have a good sense of how shadows work. Um, other than that, uh, here are the tools that we're going to need. So uh, you can grab your pencils, your erasers, your uh, sketchbook, your uh, Sharpie, okay, uh, your color pencils, and your oil pastels. All right. So go ahead and grab those things. Um, get comfortable. Get your favorite snack, your favorite uh, drink, and get ready to draw. Feel free to pause the video anytime if you feel like you're a little bit behind and catch up. Feel free to rewind it too. Um, that's what these videos are for. So um, let's begin. So uh, as usual, we're going to start off drawing the basic shapes, okay? So for me, just start off kind of doing that. All right, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the horizon line. Now I'm going to lower my horizon line just a little bit so that it's not aligned with the top. And that way it looks a little bit, the space is pushed a little bit better. And afterwards, we're going to go one, some overlapping, just like that. And then maybe some other rock shapes right there. We're also going to start getting the lighthouse in. So for the lighthouse, it's not a it's not a rectangle. It's uh, more of like a really long trapezoid. And then I'm going to draw a smaller trapezoid on top of it than a rectangle. Then afterwards, draw a box, triangle, and a circle, just like that. Awesome. And if yours is a little bit too big, make sure to erase it and make it smaller. I feel like mine was a little bit too big. What we're going to do next is you're going to draw a box over here, okay? A line, erase that one. And then kind of like that. Then afterwards, all right, you see how I start off with these basic shapes first, cut them in half, then I draw the lines. And then we can draw a stick and a circle. And then here, we're going to draw a line in the middle and a circle. Let's get some windows, nice door, some windows, awesome. And then we're going to draw a rock over here and another rock over here. And then we're going to erase these ones on the inside, kind of like that. 
and then I just want to get some details on here that looks awesome the top plane of that land and then finally some windows for the other house add yeah, some chimneys too then pretty much after that let's add some waves some bigger waves in the front smaller waves in the back just like that nice work I know there's no clouds in the picture but let's add some clouds in the picture I always start off just drawing shapes first and then I add bumps around it let's have one right here and then some seagulls awesome now when you're done with this part we're gonna get started tracing so go ahead and grab your sharpie all right um, I'm going to speed up the video for this part of uh, the project so that you don't have to uh, watch me trace for like 10 minutes or something like that so um, I'll see y'all after I'm done tracing Nice work on tracing. So now that you're at this stage, go ahead and grab your color pencils or oil pastels. Or you can grab both. Now uh, for this section, what I want you all to do is to try to choose colors as similarly as to the ones that I've chosen on my screen. I'll also give some direction on like how I'm choosing the color too. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the sky. And for the sky, uh, we're going to get one uh, medium blue and then we're gonna draw a line kind of like that all the way across and then we're gonna go with the lighter blue that's going to be under it so let's go ahead start kind of pushing these tones and color into the sky and I'm trying to match it as closely as I can to the left so if you look on the left the sky gets lighter as it goes down so for the top part I want it to be a darker blue beautiful work and try not to get inside of your shape I'm on the computer so I can erase it but for your oil pastels you want to be as clean as possible okay and you also don't want to use anything 
too dark at first, so try to keep everything on the lighter side. If you're doing color pencil, you can go dark earlier, unless you plan to blend. But I'm guessing um, if you don't know how to blend the skies here, you probably won't know how to do that yet. So there we go. Perfect. So you should have something that looks kind of like this for the most part. Take a quick shortcut. So you should have something that kind of looks like this for the most part. There we go. Perfect. The next we're going to do is you want to get kind of more of a, a dark turquoise color. And I want you to draw a line using your oil pastel just like that. And then you're going to get a light turquoise color and you're going to draw kind of an S just like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to fill up the spaces with that color. Beautiful, look at that ocean. On the top part, it's going to be a darker version. Kind of like this. <laughs> Perfect. Afterwards, what we can do is we can do this bottom part over here. So for this bottom part, it's going to be kind of like a muddy green, I would say. So kind of like this army green would be a nice, a nice tone. And make sure to go around your rocks. Try not to get inside of your rocks. Good work. Excellent job. So you should have something that kind of looks like this. Now what we're going to do is we are going to start adding uh, some tones to these rocks. So remember, this is for students who do understand shadow, okay? So what we're going to do right now is we're going to kind of draw a line like this, and then we're going to draw a line like this, and on one side, we're going to make it dark. Same for this one, and that's going to be the side of the shadow. And the reason is because light is coming from the left side. There's the sun on the left side, we just can't see it. <coughs> then, next, what we're going to do is we can get some yellow ochre, make that the light side. Perfect. 
next we're gonna get some light gray preferably a bluish gray too if you have one like that one that's a little bit more purplish kind of like that for the shadow that shadow is going to come back up over here for the roof I'm going to use a really dark blue same for this part right here some yellow awesome for the top over there and for these sections let's get them dark gray for the windows because they're reflecting the sky the side of the house can also be in shadow remember if you are using oil pastel the white parts you can't leave them as the paper color okay try to uh, color over the white parts with oil pastel so it matches get some blue in this part kind of like that we can start working on the roofs. For the roofs, I'm going to use a nice kind of magenta. It's cool red. It's too warm. It's going to pop out too much. We don't want that to happen. And the other one's going to be kind of like a light orange. So not a super orange. Like more of like a, a like how you would imagine like an orange, like cream scope would be like. more closer to the peach and tans there we go and then we'll start doing the cliffs over here so for the cliffs over here grab this grayish brown and we can start blocking that in that <laughs> and now what we're going to do get a different shade of green for this top part see it's darker than the green we have on the bottom gray for the pole There we go. And now let's finish the rest of these rocks here. So for this one, these are going to be the shadows. See, they're kind of like lemon slices. That's the shape of them. And then for the light tones, you're going to use the same color. And for these ones, you can actually make their shadows 
a lot darker. Awesome. Now last but not least, what you're going to do is um, you want to get like a, uh, it's going to be like a bluish gray, like a light one. And then we're going to start adding some clouds with the shadows to them. So they're just going to be on uh, the bottom of each cloud. Kind of like that. Perfect. So you can kind of see those textures are bumpy, right? <coughs> and that's pretty much how we uh, make this seascape. So uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, then I forgot. Let's show you this. Check this out. See now that looks a little nicer. So thank you for uh, tuning in to this episode. Okay. Um, I hope uh, you all enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to stop by our studio or email us in the contact info after. And uh, I hope to see you all soon next time. Take care.